today we have two huge announcements to tell y'all. We are so excited to explain. So the first one is we are dropping a new song on the 28th of April. Awesome! To be one of the first people to hear our songs, go pre-order it right now. You can do that by clicking the information button right over here. It's called Simple Things and it's about all the simple things in life that make us happy, love, love. friendship, all of that wonderful fun stuff. It's an amazing song, truly. So if you guys yes. want to pre-order it, definitely I go do that by clicking the information want button. To. Yes, and we are also celebrating the drop of this song with another five day vlog lead up to the drop. So this will be starting on Sunday. So be sure to come back and watch that. We will also be doing a giveaway in one of those vlogs. So y'all are gonna have to watch wow. consistently to know when yes. that giveaways can happen. So there is guys a lot going on. Yes. So we're super excited for that. And then announcement number two, we got nominated for a Webby Award. You're up against awesome. Selena Gomez, Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, and a few other people. It's like it's a crazy crazy competition, but tough. It's about different. okay, the category for this Webby Award is about the celebrity and their relationship with our fans. And I know we you love y'all the best. And y'all, we have the best fans. Y'all could go in and I'm vote us up to first place. Like, psh, psh, yeah, psh. It's so, like our award. You it's guys, about our yes, relationship. Yes, and you guys can help us get to first place by clicking the link in our description box to go vote. So definitely go do that. The voting ends tomorrow night at so, midnight. So be sure to go vote either today or tomorrow and get us up to first place because we know that we have the best fans and we want y'all to be able to win the award, win the award with, us. with us so that we can just giant be family big, award win happy winner. Happy family. Yes. All right. Now that we have gotten through all of that, let's move on to the video. Hey guys, it's Bailey here, and today I'm going to show you this everyday makeup look. It's simply beautiful, and guess what? My dad is doing my voiceover, so please give him a break, okay? Oh, and don't forget you can pre-order our new single, Simple Things, from the link in the description box below. It comes out on April 28th, and let me just tell you, we love it. And it made my dad cry the first time he heard it, and whew. It is a love song, Dad. Now, on to the video. First, I'm gonna start with this little bottle of stuff here. I'll take the lid off, point at it first, but I'm gonna take the lid off and show it to you. And this is called Makeup Forever, which I don't understand why you would want makeup on forever, but I'm gonna put it on my hand like the boys do with Elmer's glue in school, you know? I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna dab it right here, right there, right there, and over here, right there, right there and cover every little freckle, and every little shiny spot, and every little dimple, and every little mark you have on your face, just like this. In fact, it almost looks like you have the measles. That's when you know that you have enough on. Okay, now I'm going to take this black Easter egg thingy, and since Easter was last weekend, I have a new one, and it looks like an eraser, only this eraser doesn't take stuff off. It actually helps you put stuff on. And you're gonna rub those spots all over to kind of thin it out on your face and you want it to look as even as possible and onto the other side now into the forehead and your shiny zone to kind of take away all that shine dab 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 and then i'm going to take this spoon with peanut butter or is that peanut butter or an apricot or oh oh it's some sort of brush and i'm going to take it and i'm just going to smooth out the stuff that the eraser didn't get and we're gonna smooth it and you glide it over the cheekbone and down around the chin and don't forget the neck and down onto the other side oops oh, oh under the eye and around the nose there you go that looks so good now i'm going to take this other stuff that's the same color as the first makeup forever stuff but it's in a tube this time and when you take the lid off it has a Looks like a Q-tip, but it's not. And I'm just gonna dab it under my eye like a football player, like a football player. And then on the on the corners of my nose. So I'm gonna put it on the corners of my nose and then up onto my brow. And you have to make it look like an upside down Atari sign. And then, you know, because I can't grow a goatee, just put it on there as well. See, and I'm really tough. Look how tough I am, I'm tough. Okay, screw that lid back on. Yay, don't I look good? Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller smoothing brush that looks like a peanut butter spoon and I'm going to take it and I'm going to wave it around like Harry Potter and and then I'm gonna smooth out my goatee because you don't want any hairs to show and the corners of your nose 
where you might have shadow because it may be too dark on the corners of your nose and up into your eyes and this is very helpful if you stayed up really late the night before like last night I got to bed at 3 30 a.m. because I was doing all my early Christmas shopping for my dad so yeah this really helps even out your eyes if you look really really tired and then up into the brow line you want to really kind of help in that t-zone area to try and blend it in so you have uniformity in your face uniformity in your face and your forehead and above your eyes and down your nose and 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 on your cheeks and anywhere else I think see I look good, don't I? <laughs> oh, what? What's next? Oh, I've got this little mirror compact with a uh, pink powder in it. And boom, I'm gonna brush it on. Woo, look, blow it, blow it, put it on, then blow it off. Oh, dab, dab, brush, brush, brush. See, I'm adding back in the pink that the forever makeup stuff took out of my face and on this side too so you want to add the pink back into your face that your makeup forever took off whoa do i look good now uh-huh <laughs> oh taking a new brush this is a really fluffy brush i love it ah what am i gonna do with this yes i've got another compact this is called outlast all day i don't know why you want to outlast if you want to be in first but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on my nose and brush it around again on the makeup that I've just put on to make it be more permanent, to make the forever more forever, and up around the forehead, down around the, in your neck, cause you don't wanna have a, a darker makeup face and a white neck, so you wanna brush your neck and your nose and down around your, around your eyebrows and get every little part. Clip the compact and put it away Next, I'm going to grab something called a, <laughs> I don't know, but this looks like some sort of utensil that the dentist would use, but it does have a brush on one end. And I'm going to take this, um, I don't know if I want to say what this is. This shall be the palette that shall not be named. Let's call it that, the palette that shall not be named. With all these great colors in it, and I'm going to take this brush thingy and straighten out my eyebrows. And I'm going to take this powder and blow it off and I'm going to brush the brush on my eyebrows to make them thicker because having thicker eyebrows is the in thing today. So you brush it in, thicken it up, see on one side and up around the arch of the eyebrow making sure that it has a very nice fleeky point. See, how do you think? Does it look good? Ooh, can you do this? I can do this. Can you do it? Uh-huh. Oh, I remembered something. I didn't do the other side. Oh, I'm going to take and blow off the powder once again and dab it on the other eyebrow and thicken it up just like the first one. This part in the front, you really want to be thicker than the part in the back side. You want it to look like it's thicker towards the nose and thinner towards the ears. See, like I'm doing brush, get it thicker, a little bit thicker, yeah, there we go. I think my brows are fleeking lit, what do you think? <laughs> oh, ha, oh, great eyebrows, I see you. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to take another tube that has some more uh, uh, something in it. Uh, it looks like it's empty, I think I need to take this one back to the store. But I'm going to take this empty tube and I'm going to brush it on my eyebrows. Probably it must be some sort of gel so that my, my eyebrows hairs can lay the way they need to. It's kind of like mascara for your eyebrows. Clear coat mascara for your eyebrows. And yeah, look at that. Ooh, I'm loving this. Wow. What do you think? I, my head is in a box. My head is in a box. Oh. Guess who's back? Yes, it's the palette that shall not be named. Hmm, what do you think? One more time. Yeah, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna just dab it in this powder, but I want the lightest one this time. Blow it off, always have to blow it off, and I'm gonna put this on my eyelid because my eyelids are already not white enough. I need to rub it, rub it, and just brush it up, up into the crease of the arch of the eyelid and on the other side too. You want to take away any natural color you may have had on your eyes um, and make sure you get it as high as the arch of the eyebrow. 
Now I'm going to take the brown brush, not the blue one, but the brown brush this time, and I'm going to rub it a little bit more. Now the key here is it's not a smoky eye because smoky eyes are dark. We're going for a cloudy eye. We're going for lighter colors this time. Adding a little bit of pink with the rubbing with the lighter color shades from the palette that shall not be named and doing this on both sides now and making sure you're getting in the upper eyelid area so it blends very well so you just don't have you know, the darker eyelids uh, with a white uh, brow line. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. See, it's, it's, it's important to accentuate your natural beauty. You don't wanna cover up with all these dark colors all over your eyes. You wanna be able to accentuate your natural beauty. So I'm just rubbing and, and brushing these very light pastel-y, uh, 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 color, skin tone colors to give myself a very beautiful uh, cloudy eye. Okay, you might need to do this three or four times because you know practice makes perfect, and the more times you do it, the better it looks. See, uh, oh, way to go! Here it is. What do you think? I'm looking good. Still more to go though, right? Still a little more to go. Let's go. Next, I'm going to take this. Um, what is this? I, let's see, let's take the lid off. Why? I love you, Dad. Um, this is a pencil, a white pencil, and I'm going to painfully pull my eyelid down and draw upon the surface of my bottom eyelid with this white pencil. That sounds like a brilliant idea. You wanna, since my eyes already aren't white enough or big enough, I'm going to make them look bigger. See, bigger eyes. It's all about the big eyes, kids. Okay, next, what, what is this? This is some sort of torture device. I, I, I seriously think that this is something that my dad would use in his shop. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm going to take and place my eyelashes inside of this contraption and pull it down and fold them in half. Because when you fold your eyelashes in half, it somehow makes you more beautiful. It, it's very painful. I can poke my own eyelids with my eyelashes now. Next, I'm going to take this pink shimmery tube. It's just a pink shimmery tube, but everybody needs it. It's a magic tube, a magic tube. And isn't it beautiful? I mean, okay, I'm gonna open up the magic shimmery tube. I know what this is. This is mascara. I get brownie points for this one. Mascara. Now the key to putting on mascara is what you do with your mouth. The success in the mascara application is in making the mouth draw downwards. See? Downwards. And, and, and get those little fine ones on the end. Don't forget those. Those are eyelashes too. They need equal opportunity application. Okay? Now look at this. I'm going to... Oh, I feel like a little butterfly. Oh yeah, this one's looking, what is happening with this one? This one's jealous. So we're gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to the second eye. Now this is a new application. This is called the blink method. Blink application, blink application, blink. But don't forget the key of success in application is drawing the mouth down. Blink, blink. Okay, down on the bottom. Don't forget the bottom eyelashes because they're just as important as the top. It, again, it's equal uh, equal opportunity application of mascara. Look how fast I can put those on. I have a lot of experience putting on mascara, trust me. And guess what? We're making our own mascara and it'll make us all feel like pretty butterflies. Yay! Okay, next I'm going to take another palette that's called Too Faced because it's not enough to have one face, we need to have two faces, okay? I like this. Oh, chocolate Too Faced. It's a chocolate Too Faced uh, palette. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna apply a little bit of whites in the corner of my eyes. Adding a little bit of whites in the corner of your eyes just makes your eyes pop even more. As if my eyes didn't already pop from the time I was first born. This application makes them pop even more. Wait, hmm, um, I see, I forgot something. Here we are, we're back to makeup forever. Because after everything you've done, you want to put the same stuff on all the stuff you've put on. Oh, wait, 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 oh, sorry, no. We're putting them on our lips this time. Because we're going to take all the natural color out of our lips and make them look like skin. Like we have no lips. That's the point of this 
process in my everyday makeup. Ooh, hmm, I like this. What do you think? Ooh, yeah, beautiful, baby. Oh, I got a little bit on my finger. Let me rub this off. Oh, you know, it happens. Um, it's not in first, it's out last again. I'm going to take this and I'm also going to apply it on my lips to make them completely disappear off my face. That is the goal. It's to look like I don't have lips, okay? Now I'm going to take a tube of sparkly something. It's a tube of sparkly, blow you a kiss first. I open it up, oh, it is a lip gloss. It is a sparkly, glittery, pink lip gloss. Now get it in there, make sure you get the stuff on the brush and you're just gonna glide it on the lip. Just ever so slightly glide it, starting in the center, up into the corner of the mouth and yes just like this follow that lip line just like so make it a happy little lip a happy little lip okay apply some more to the brush and now we're gonna follow up along the cupid's bow of the lip why do they call it a cupid's bow because it looks like cupid's bow as in bow and arrow and 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 all oh, all oh, you got it right here and down around this side right here yeah oh there we go, kissy kissy. Mwah. Asa baby, these lips are coming for you, but only on the cheeks, just like we discussed. Mwah. Love you all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this everyday makeup routine, especially with my dad doing the voiceover. Yeah, he's a little crazy, but how do you think he did? Be sure to comment down below, and don't forget to click right here to subscribe to our channel. Now, if you wanna pre-order Simple Things, our song that comes out on April 28th, be sure to click right up here, as well as watch the rest of our other videos down here. And we'll see you next week, bye!